Please excuse like the low effort quality of this video. I wanted to make this on my raw thoughts. I didn't want to do a script on this, but guessing by the title and guessing by all the background images that you see on your screen right now, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about the Chris Chan situation. And before I get into my thoughts about that and what happened, I'm going to give you a bit of a small rundown about who Chris Chan is. Chris Chan, or as sometimes he goes by, he, his name is Kristen Weston Chandler, or more recently he's gone by Christina Weston Chandler, and I'll get into how I feel about that in a bit. Um, he is a Sonic fan. He made his own character named Sonichu, and it unironically became popular because of the memes behind it. And Chris Chan is known to be somewhat of an oddball, to put it lightly. He's not exactly all there in the head. Some speculate he has autism or some, some form of mental disability, and I do agree with them. But uh, there are some people online who use this for their benefit and troll him. I know there have been people who've trolled them into the point of giving them, him, them money and that's just fucked up and i do feel like this has situations like this has been leading chris spiraling further and further into losing his fucking mind because he even believes that his his oc sonichu and the universe that he created actually is real and he can communicate back and forth with sonichu and his other characters and at, now a lot of people for some reason believe he's trans no he's not he's just extremely delusional because a lot of people seem to forget he also at one point used to go by sonichu he made it seem like he was actually sonichu at one point and would call himself chris his quote-unquote mommy or whatever and this also goes into this whole Chris Chan thing where, for some reason, people are trying to take up for him because we're quote-unquote misgendering him. Even Chris himself has said at, uh, before that he doesn't care what people call him as long as it's not it. At least that's from my understanding. So he's not even transsexual. So why are people trying to defend what he does? did because we are quote unquote misgendering him we're not misgendering him you're just being a stupid fucking cunt now you're if you if you're actually in the dark about what's going on oh boy i've been try i've been doing my best to avoid talking about it so i'm i'm gonna i i can't sugarcoat this you know i can't sugarcoat this i gotta say it chris chan sexually assaulted his dementia-ridden elderly mother. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay silent for a second to let that sink in. This man sexually assaulted his elderly mother. I I oh my god. I this this shitstorm happened on Twitter. Yes, I know that's literally where everything goes wrong for me at this point. I noticed Chris Chan was trending, so I'm like, huh, that seems interesting. Let's see what's going on. Then I started looking more and more into it, and Jesus Christ, it it was mortifying. Yes, I was laughing most of the time, mostly because of the memes that were spawning from it, but I was mostly laughing to keep from hitting something. I This made me so angry, mostly because I feel like it could have been stopped. Now, there have been people who have tried... There are, there are people who have tried to help Chris. But, for some godforsaken reason, he doesn't accept that help. He brushes it aside and keeps on going and keeps letting his mental health deteriorate. And it's just... Now now this happened. It, it's, it's fucking... Oh, my God. Now, how this happened... How, how this actually got out is that he was talking to one of his friends, and he was basically bragging about it. 
there's a audio recording where he's describing what he did to her and making it seem like what he's doing isn't that bad. Like, she's enjoying it, or he's making her last days more enjoyable. Oh god, that's fucking sick. I... I could I could barely get through like the audio call because it's it was just it was so fucking disgusting and there are text messages where he details what he did to his mother too. Now some people actually believe that Chris, I, I the optimistic side of people want to believe that Chris may actually be lying. He made this up to make it seem like. Oh, it's not that big a deal because. But uh, some people have also speculating that he's not lying because he has actually outright said that he's attracted to his mother. He's attracted to elderly people, which I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand the infatuation. And it's all. I think it's also doing part to where back in college, Chris Chan would also try to look for a girlfriend, he'd all he'd try all these different methods, but they ultimately failed, they blew up on his face, they didn't work very well, and it just made him more and more of a social outcast, and it, it, it I guess it's culminated to the point to where he's gotten desperate and has justified, in his own mind, taking advantage of his sickly mother, his bedridden mother, would be the best course of action to get his rocks off. I I can't I oh man. There's so apparently there's also a video circulating around the internet of him doing this. If if it exists, it hasn't shown up on my doorstop and if it does, I'm tossing that shit in the pits of hell. I well I I might actually watch it just 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 to make myself suffer a bit more. But um Ah, where's that one screenshot I have? There's there's a there's a Kiwi Farms user that put it best. And I'm gonna read it off to you right now. Let me just I'm gonna put it up on screen. Hang on, give me one second. Cause I'm I'm not actually I'm not actually editing this video. I'm just I'm 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 recording it as a raw footage and I'm not actually going to I'm just gonna put it on my channel because this I don't think this warrants a video, a detailed video of itself, because I, I remember somebody, a live stream a while back, somebody asked me would I actually consider doing a video on Chris Chan, and I remember saying no because there have been so many people who have made videos on him who have basically abused the system of making videos on him, and it's it was just... Ugh. So I'm getting that image right now. Alright, so I actually can't access I can't put the image up because it's not a supported file. But I'll still read it off because it I think it encapsulates the situation per uh, pretty good. This whole scenario is so fucking dark from both parties absolutely lonely, mentally impaired man, I mean, ugh, this whole scenario is fucking dark from both parties, absolutely lonely, mentally impaired man-child who is basically schizophrenic with no one who probably loves him, lives basically alone and believes in a different dimension of his creation, surrounded by his hoarding in his filthy house, which is probably dead quiet considering Barb is basically, Bar Bar Barbara is his mother, uh, just to clarify is basically not even a person at this point. There's a dying soul sharing the house with you. It's quiet. It doesn't speak unless it's spoken to. You can sit down and play a video game while she sits somewhere in the house staring at something, doing nothing, just staring. No one likes you. No one loves you. You become more and more insane. You're too far gone. There's no fixing it. You're basically famous, but absolutely not in a good way. Everyone knows about your life, no one wants anything positive to do with you. You might not even be able to comprehend the emptiness you live in. Maybe that's for the best, to live in the ignorance. Then there's Barb. 
not in control of her life anymore. It's being controlled by this monster she helped create. She can't form a coherent sentence. Looks like she's on the verge of death every time she shows up. Is being eaten alive by dementia and God knows what else. Then suddenly one day, your monster, mentally disturbed son, who is your only caretaker, crawls in, in, through the debris of your quiet, dark, filthy, smelling, disgusting house and begins to come on to you, mumbling and fumbling over your old, decrepit, disintegrating body and rapes you. And he rapes you every three days until you become his girlfriend. He releases all of his urges on you. There's nothing you can do. You're not fit to do literally, do literally anything. You probably don't even know what's happening half of the time. You might, you might even completely forget the events the next day due to dementia and re-experience it anew three days later, not even allowing you to get used to it. You can't ask for help. You can't fight back. You can't leave. You are in hell. I think that pretty much summed up that entire situation pretty well. Now, when this whole thing blew up, um, th I think this is like the last leg that I'll get into and then I'll end the video. When this whole thing blew up, um, there was a friend group that he was part of that were basically trying to check up on him. And when he admitted this to them, they wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. But he, as he kept going into detail, they decided that enough was enough. They called the police. Um... They brought him into protective custody, but last I heard, they didn't actually arrest him. They only questioned him, and his mother is now in the hospital, possibly being checked for signs of sexual activity or whatever, maybe a possible rape kid. Uh, he's not allowed to go back to his home for six or seven days, at least a week. Um, I know probably at least one or two days have passed since that has happened and nobody actually knows where Chris Chan is at this point because he's been pretty MIA and even people who have tried to reach out to him he's been pretty vague and everything it's just this whole situation is fucked I I don't know and there I, I, I can't even I can't form a coherent thought on this because it's just so deplorable imagine being so far gone that you can't comprehend that what you're doing is wrong. This man sexually assaulted, molested his weak mother. She was powerless to do anything against him. And he is not even aware of the pain he has caused her. I I can't I can't even imagine being that being being that insane. E even murderers understand what they're doing is wrong. Even child predators understand what they're doing is wrong. Even rapists understand what they're doing is wrong. I, I, I can't, I don't get it. How did we as a community let this happen? Once again, I mentioned before, people have tried to reach out to Chris Chan. People have tried to get him help, but he brushes it off. He ignores it. He decided to, he made, he did this to himself. I'm, I, I just don't know. This video was pretty... This, this video is taxing to my mental health to make. But I felt like if I didn't make it, a lot of people would probably be bothering me in my comment section saying, Hey, Arachnid, did you hear about the Christian thing? Hey, Arachnid, did you hear about the Christian thing? Yes, I have. Please stop bothering me about it and have a good day.